Here we are, shooting videos to reach a goal and to spread wisdom. Good day, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. My name is Christopher, and this is the YouTube channel from Spiritual Advice from a Barbarian Lunatic. And you do see, at least, you, that's the interesting part. I just always feel like, at a certain point, when I'm in nature, recording videos, I suddenly start to have much more energy than I had beforehand. If I'm spending time in my room, recording there, at one point I'm just bleh, completely depleted. And that's also why I drink so much coffee and tea. Uh, well, I should drink more tea. Why I drink so much coffee and eat sugar. Because somehow, doing this inside just really drains me. Doing it outside, I don't know, I just have much more energy and that's just incredible. Because I actually get energy from, right? And when I say things and I'm in a negative mindset, it's just washed away. Whereas if I'm in a room and I let out my emotions and my negativity, I'm just constantly sitting in that. And that's why right now I really hate being in my room. But I like that I hate being in my room because I come here and realize these things, like how nature actually brings me closer to myself. So it's the best thing to make it a habit. And you know, if you live in a big city, go to parks. Go to parks. Make sure to find a spot where you can feel like this. Go to parks. And probably make sure that there's not all the time people talking to you. That's important. Because they will come and they will feast of your energy just like anybody else. And they will drain you. And then you feel like, you know, they just sucked you dry. But but just with words, it's possible. It happens. And that's why right now I really enjoy sitting down here. And why is that? Because if I sit up there, there's constantly people walking past. So they already suck my energy by watching me. That's a fact. That's a fact. Because if you're spreading light, you know, people can st steal it with their eyes. And that's just insane. But it's possible and to just be aware of that you know sometimes people can really bore into you with their attention like uh, you know and you don't know what kind of so thoughts they are sending you away they might think what an asshole or oh I want to fuck him I want to have sex with him or whatever you know you don't know what they think it doesn't matter but that's a form of leeching off and here is a relatively smaller amount of people walking past with their dogs whereas when I'm sitting up there I like having a stick I think whenever I'm going to stay on stage I need to have a stick that I can point at things and like also point out certain things so of course when I'm on top there um, I'm closer to people people will watch me they will listen to what I'm saying and they will also try to understand what I'm saying. And that's really bothersome because I can feel it because they are tapping into my energy. And that's why you can feel it if people are staring at you even from the back because they are trying, like they're tapping into your energy field. And in cities you have that a lot of course. I mean just imagine you are for example in the ocean or let's say on a river the water is flowing and then there's a rock and then the water is breaking around the rock and we are surrounded by energy and in nature energy is flowing more like a river and then you're like a pebble or a stone in the middle and the energy is flowing around you and circling you and it's washing you clean, right? It's cleansing you. That's what the wind does. That's what water does in natural lakes and stuff. 
And that's what the cold also does. And I assume also the heat, but the cold in a much more intense way. Much more intense. Don't know why. Or do I? It's just healing for some reason. But now imagine you're in a city. First of all, there's so many disturbances because there's cars. So then dirty sound comes your way. Dirty exhaust stuff. Then the energy, you know, from burning fossil fuels, it's like dirty already. People having all kinds of negative thoughts, people smoking, you know, you inhale that. It's like going into your lungs. And all these negative, like, also advertisements, like, people driving past, like, with really aggressive music, like, and that's all energy you're being hammered with. So it's not like, it's more like, you know, like a herd of baboons with sticks, like, and throwing shit at you, like, this is what a city is. And that's why, you know, it's completely ridiculous that all these people want to be in cities. And why do people want to be in cities? Because they bought the lie that city life is so great, right? And they just spend money there, of course. And that's what this capitalistic beast wants. You to spend money. Because the more money you spend on useless things like alcoholic beverages or prostitutes, right? The less money you spend on having a healthy family and buying land. So who's buying all the land? Large corporations, the industry, the state? No, instead we could buy that land, create places like this where you can live healthy and happy. I mean, of course, you can still sometimes go into cities maybe have a shop there, I don't know, right? But in general, what we should be aiming to do is preserve our energy, build it up, think smartly about how can we earn a lot of money. And that's what I'm trying to figure out with YouTube now as a system for advertisement and because I like it. It comes easy to me, but of course more also with writing books. You know, it's just about raising awareness. And in a capitalistic system, you have to make what you're trying to do, of course, also, into something worth buying. So if you're not selling yourself very, very well, or your message, well then maybe you should try something else. Or figure out, okay, have I really thought this through? Is this really what I want to do? Because to just do YouTube, to earn money, while deep down in your heart you actually hate it. It's like for me, using social media to advertise my work, I don't like that. So I don't do it, because it's dishonest and I would hate it. And that's also why I don't give fancy names to my videos anymore and I don't add all this stuff into the description, you know, what the video is about. No, because it would be dishonest and I would hate it and it would make it a drag. So, for me, the amount of work I put in and the regularity with the releases is all I can do to advertise my work. And in the end, I am the best advertisement. Because it's me, I'm selling my ideas, my visions, because I have visions, I have a like, I have a mind full of visions. And I've worked for that, of course. And now, you know, people have to realize then, oh, wait, that's what he's been saying all along, you know? You just have to do that to be happy? Well, that sounds kind of easy, or at least somebody's talking about it. Because we need people who are actually living it, but also who have experience with it, and who move forward. I see all these people that are just stuck in doing what they did already two years ago and they just keep doing it because it worked once for them, but I don't see a lot of progress. And I have the feeling I more or less just started doing it when I was already somewhere and I wanted to get somewhere and suddenly I realized, 
Now I will do it. Because I already had a mission. And that's the thing, right? We have to make spirituality like something that people want. And for that we have to show what you can reach if you live your dream and if you work on yourself. Because most people don't know that. And then you have, of course, the police driving past and I don't know what they're supposed to do here. You know, sometimes I'm even wishing for them to come down here so we can have a chat or something. You know, why are they driving here now? It's like in the forest. You're not, technically, you're not even allowed to cycle here. Do they just want to show? Oh, we're still here, right? I mean, they could walk through there. But you never know, of course. But it would be interesting. Anyway, you know, being down here just makes me a bit more chilled. But of course, I'm getting riled up by talking about these topics. And then seeing the police makes me anxious. And that's something also in cities. They're just spreading fear. You think they spread security? No, no. For some people, they may. But for people like me, who want to be free, they just drive around and they say, One step out of line, I want to fuck you up. Just like, why? I mean, can't we just be a bit nicer with each other? And now I have to be worried and I think like, oh shit, like, is that the police? Are they coming down here now? Because I've had this one encounter already, where they approached me and like handcuffed me for doing nothing, for being trapped in the place. I mean, just think about that. I mean, just think about it. So to me, the police is not people who like are your good friend. No, they're more like the people who put you into place. And maybe I'm wrong about it, but that's just the way I see it. And I mean, they're not doing a very good job to create a better image of themselves, are they? I mean, they're following orders. And if the state says, you know, this is the rule, then they are the ones enforcing it upon us. And then I have to suck that up. I mean, that's kind of shit, isn't it? I mean, that's not what the police should be for. The police should be like... making sure nobody kills each other. And not forcing me to suck up everything they say. Because we should have people that criticize the government for what they're doing. That's what we used to have. You know, open critique and then change and then a dialogue. Oh, that's what the people are saying. No, no, wait. You know, if you don't do it, we'll come with the stick. And I just think that's a really shit way of dealing with each other. And we could do it much nicer. And that's where, like, real devotion, like devoted spirituality comes into play because you're devoted to change and to be nice but also people have to be nice too because spirituality isn't just love, it's also like don't fuck with me, okay? Because I have a mission and if you're trying to sabotage that I'm going to fuck you up. 